Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, it's Reese. Y'all already know, welcome back for what? A quick little video. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and jump right into this actual video. Now y'all, this video is going to be about the one and only Tookin. Yeah, y'all heard it right. This video get ready to be about Tookin. Now y'all, I got the opportunity to go ahead and watch Jasmine's video where she went to uh, this cabinet um, this sim summer uh, swim home, whatever. You get what I'm saying? You want to call it, okay? So, with that being said, in her story, there were so many different lies. It made no sense. No sense at all. But y'all already know that y'all are over here and we are going to do what we do best and we're going to break that shit on down, okay? So, the first thing that our dear Tookin um, decided to do was to go ahead and take her clothes out of her duffel bag. We already know that Tookin does not iron at all. Tookin doesn't even get a steamer just to steam it right on over the clothes and be extra lazy. Tookin doesn't even do that. So when she decided to go ahead and take the balled up clothing and put them inside of the dresser, I said, you got to be kidding me. And then the other thing that got me was the fact that she act like she was going to be staying there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and coming home on Monday. Or something and I doubt if Jasmine even stayed over there okay now the second thing that got me is that Tookin said that uh, Mr. Peasant would be joining her okay but we never ever ever seen Mr. Peasant we didn't see him nowhere only thing we saw was Tookin coming in and taking over the summer pool that's all we saw when she decided to even go and say hi to, I guess, Mr. Jax or whoever that was his family, they looked at Tookin the same way Chrissy does when she does her lives and Tookin slides right on in there and try to talk to her and she just be like, hi Tookin, and that's it. Mm -hmm. No more, you no, no more interaction at all, okay? At all. See, now what throws us off about Tookin is that Tookin continuously, continuously decides to lie. And then you have people like the reactors, okay, that catch on to it and, and, and they make videos about it. Yeah, that, that, that's exactly what happens, okay. Now, you know, you have some reactors that will drag the shits out of Tookin. You got some reactors that are going to make a reaction to what it is that Tookin has put on our camera to come through to us to make a video. Okay? Now, I'm going to drop this in there too. I have Yelp. So wherever I am, wherever I decide to go to, whatever I do, I always get my uh, Yelp app. I go ahead and put in the information of where I want to go. And I look at the reviews of what people have to say. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I do. And that's how I find out if I want to actually go to their establishment. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and switch it on over. That is literally, basically, what a reactor is. Okay. That is what a reactor is. A reactor can state their opinion and to let y'all know it's nothing that y'all can do about it as long as that opinion is stated in a respectful honorable way yeah it's, it's, it's nothing you can do about it okay now jasmine what i want to tell you too and i'm going to get back in here or whatever is the fact that jasmine what you may want to do okay where someone is clearly reaching out to you Okay, you may want to go and put their name in, you get what I'm saying, YouTube, and see exactly what you come up with. You may want to go ahead and look on the other gossip sites 
that actually have you on them as well. And you may want to put their name in there. You get what I'm saying? And read the thousands and thousands of pages. All right. Because Jasmine, some people, you may think that they are trying to help you. They're not trying to help you at all. What they are trying to do is get some of your subscribers and some of your views. That's what they are trying to do. So that leads me to say this, uh, Jasmine. Um, don't get yourself involved in something that later down the line, you will not be able to get yourself out of it. Don't do it. But like I said, Jasmine, go ahead and research that information. All right, research it very, very well, okay? Now, Jasmine, see, this is what I say. You tell us so many different lies. I don't know how to take it, okay? Originally, you said that this was going to be for the twins' birthday because you didn't do basically a party for them. And you said that the uh, twins really really love uh the water now jasmine every time i see you putting your twins inside of the water at your pool at home especially your daughter okay they really don't be trying to have it all right i just want you to know like i i, I mean i don't know how they've turned it around in a good 24 to 48 hours and now they uh they they swim in olympics and shit yeah, I, 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 I don't know, baby. I don't know. Okay. So you said that it was, you know, for the twins. Then your mom turns around and basically steps on your lie that you just told. Now, Jasmine, what I don't even understand, Jasmine, is this right here. You are the one that edits your mom's videos. So why is it? <laughs> So why is it that you don't add it out when you tell a lie and your mom tells a lie and it makes you look completely like a liar as always? Okay, Jasmine. Jasmine, I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to tell you this for sure. Please make sure that you actually rehearse all of your lies. Okay, all of them before you decide to put it up on, you get what I'm saying, on a camera. Okay, now I take that bag, Jasmine, where I said, you know, you've got to research people, okay? But let me kick this to you as well. Make sure you get me, when you research them, look at the lies, okay? Look at the lies. And when you look at all these lies, it might help you learn how to lie a little bit more because it's so many lies. All right. I'm pretty sure that, you know what I'm saying, the people who are watching me get it. And I'm pretty sure that you will get it too, Jasmine, after a couple days of thinking, okay, I'm just trying to put you down, baby doll. Okay. So, you know, that was a lie. You know, that went on over or whatever. Now, what you got to realize, Tookin, is this. You already have Bentley as a pet. You have a whole case of roaches as pets. Now, Jasmine, you have decided to come up with a third pet. And that pet's name is Big Bugs. <laughs> so look, sweetheart, let me put you down. When you normally do some traveling, baby, don't take the stuff out of the duffel bag. Get yourself a suitcase too, Jasmine. But anyway, don't take the stuff out of a duffel bag. And go ahead and have it in your hand, balled up. And you know what I'm saying? Throw it into, you know what I mean, the drawer. Like you're doing your basketball. Okay. I don't know if maybe you had a basketball flashback. I, I, I don't know. But yeah. Okay. You want to leave them in that and put it up on top of, you know, a, a dresser or a table or something. All right. Because again, um, Jasmine, you don't know who else has stayed in this actual room. Whereas though they could have stayed there and bought, you get what I'm saying, more roaches, more bed bugs, more spiders and everything with them. Now, you are taking out your clothes, putting them on your kids, putting them back inside of your suitcase. I'm sorry, duffel bag. And now you are running around at home 
doing videos, okay, and we see bed bugs and shit crawling all across the wall, crawling all across the, you know, everywhere, okay, because we already know that the last set of roaches that we saw, they gave you no respect at all. <laughs> As soon as you decided to go ahead and come on here, make a video, they like, oh, we getting some exposure too, Tookin. Yeah, we get ready to get some exposure. We want everybody to see how we crawl. We might could go ahead and get a brand deal for Ray. You get me? Roach Motel uh, boxes and shit, okay? Uh, yeah, we, we might be able to go ahead and get us a sponsorship. So that's why they come out like that when you are on camera took and took and took and took it okay so i see mr jack you know mr jack looks like he's a real cool type of guy i heard that you know mr jack was a you know a g a dj okay 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 all right now mr jack really really blew me because mr jack loves his uh cornrows okay he loves the cornrows Mr. Jack, for some reason, reminds me of one of the Osley brothers. Okay, that is who he reminds me of. Then I get a little twitch and I take it back and I'm like, damn, he reminds me of the movie Set It Off as well. Okay, but when I really, really, really <laughs> look at Mr. Jack, the first thing when I see the cornrows, all right, the first thing I am asking myself, Mr. Jack, baby, do you have a flip cell phone? Uh-huh. Mr. Jack look like one of them ones that would have a flip cell phone. So Mr. Jack looks like somebody that would be wearing one of your, you know, those fanny packs and shit like back in the day. And they used to have the Salem 100s one, the green one and shit. Yeah, that's what he reminds me of. Mr. Jack looks like someone wears though, you know, for a change uh, purse. All right. He will go ahead and you know, the, cr the uh, crown rule bags, the purple ones and shit. <laughs> That is exactly what Mr. Jack strikes me as carrying. Mm hmm Sure does. Mr. Jack even looks like, you know, his pants, he, you know, he would roll them up at the bottom if they were a tad bit too long. Yeah, y'all, I gotta say, Mr. Jack took the cake. All right. Mr. Jack really, really took the cake, okay? But, um, yeah, so... What also, you know, was a little bit peculiar for me when you actually did the video and you said that you have more than one child. Okay, so you know how you have spent a lot of money on birthdays for one child and it made no sense. Okay, you said that one time, I forget which daughter it was, took in, that you spent $30 on a cake. Now, Jasmine, see, this is the reason right here why people do videos on you and then you have people that get pissed off at them because they're doing a video on you and deep down inside that shit is the truth. It's no way, Tookin, that there are a bunch of reactors that are saying the same exact thing about you in a different manner. Okay? So, you mean to tell me that thirty dollars was too much for one of your other daughter's parties cake okay but when it came down to mr peasant you bought him a cake that looked better than those dry ass cupcakes that you decided to go ahead and get off the expired table okay of bakery needs you bought him a cake then that wasn't even it, but you put $80 on the bid for Mr. Peasant. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to buy your, tw your twins a $30 cake. But on the other hand, you go ahead and you buy Chris a cake and leave $80 on the bid for him. Not only did you stop there, but you also took us to the dollar store where you decided to go ahead and get plates and all of that. 
so you can go ahead and set up the table, okay, for his birthday. Now, Tookin, do you not see something wrong with that? Now, trolls and everyone, that seems that you get what I'm saying, hang on to uh, 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 Jasmine's, you get me, uh, hairs down there, okay? Swinging back and forth, all right? You don't see anything wrong with that. If you don't see anything wrong with that, there is something wrong with you. And most of the time, you do the same thing that Tookin does. So that's why y'all don't see nothing wrong with it. So with that being said, Tookin, I'm going to go ahead and slide on up off of him. And Tookin, I will see you in the next video. Later.